Are you wanting to compose music more quickly, more efficiently, more just like wham, bam, zam, zam, zam? Well, this is the video for you. I've got some three really killer tips here to know about before you even start writing a single note. Hi there, my name's Andrew. I'm a professional media composer. I write for music libraries and film and TV. Um, I've been doing this for about five years or so, and I've been writing music slowly and have also been writing music quickly. And uh, with about 500 music tracks in uh, music libraries now, I have some experience of getting the job done reasonably quickly. So hopefully I can pass some of that over to you in this video. First of all, it's really vitally important that you know your equipment. You've got to know the VSTs that you're using inside out so that you've got to know your template inside out, how you're routing stuff, how it fits together, how your reverbs all to go together. So you're not really dealing with any technical stuff at all while you're composing. The sort of technical brain and the composing creative brain are, are very, very separate. And as soon as you start tinkering with um, settings and bits and pieces while you're composing, it really does interfere with your creative flow. So get to know those VSTs. Dare I say it? read the manuals. Oh, I'm such a hypocrite because I never read any of the manuals at all. But go, it's, it's probably worth it. Have you ever tried reading an East-West manual? Uh, not to be recommended. Um, give it a go. Watch some tutorials. Absolutely. Watch the watch the walkthroughs on on the uh, on the website of the of the sample library provider. Find out what your sample library can actually do and can't do so that you're not learning that on the on the job. So you can totally concentrate on creativity. The other thing in terms of knowing your setup is is just having some sort of template ready. It doesn't necessarily have to be loaded with all the instruments, but a template that has routing and things on it can be really helpful. So empty instances of contact or, or of play or opus if you're using East West or whatever you're using, routed into the right places. So you've got your folders and your stems set up, can save an awful lot of time and faffing around um, and a lot of sort of save a lot of energy that could be better diverted to actually creating and composing at that particular period of time. Next, what are you actually trying to achieve? Um, again, before you even start writing, you've got to have some clear parameters in your mind. How long is a piece of string? Uh, the, avoiding the blank sheet of paper sort of syndrome. So you need to know roughly how long the track's going to be. You need to know the style of the track, what the track's for, what the moods is, what the instrumentation is going to be like. Have some sense of structure maybe is really, really important. You really, really need to set yourself as many, well, as many as possible. I think to a certain extent, the more, um, the more restrictions you put on yourself, the, the better it is, the less choices you have. Um, there's a lot of, you spend an awful lot of time wondering about different instruments and wondering about different VSTs and wondering about different things like that. But actually, it, it, that, all that is is a distraction from actually writing the music to a certain extent. So be clear, uh, look at uh, past examples that either you've written or use some um, reference tracks if that's really, really helpful. See how other people have approached what you've done. Get some clear ideas and parameters into your mind even before you set pen to paper or fingers to DAW and get going. The last tip coming up is the uh, is the best one, I think, and probably the most powerful one. But in the meantime, if you've enjoyed what I've been saying so far, uh, why not give me a subscribe? That'd be really, really nice. Let's get on with it. So this uh, last tip is about setting some time parameter, setting a deadline, even if you don't have a deadline. Um, there's a, a well-known proverb, <laughs> I can say well-known Chinese proverb. It's not a Chinese proverb. There's a well-known principle, which I can't never remember the, the uh, what it's called, um, whereby the uh, work will fill the amount of time which is available in which to do it, or worse to that effect. Um, you will get on, you're absolutely guaranteed to get on faster if you set yourself a deadline. If you start writing on a piece of music or you start writing a track and you have a, an endless deadline, it's going to take an endless amount of time to finish it. Give yourself a reasonable amount of time to do it in, possibly a reasonable amount of time, and then take shave a little bit off it to sort of put the wind up your pants a bit and make you sort of hurry up a little bit um, and stick to that deadline and then move on to the next, the next track or the next thing. So there we go. Those are the things that you need to know or have in place before you start writing music to, to make sure that you get on quickly, efficiently and fast. Um, I will give you some more like top tips what to do when you actually get started composing in this video up here. Um, again, subscribe like this. If you've got any tips or you've got anything to add to what I've been talking about, please put it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Bye bye.